yo, you guys, this is Blacklist of the Abyss, and you're watching my review for Naruto chapter 663. And this chapter, I'll just say it right now, right? This chapter was awesome. Alright, I'll kill anyone says this chapter was awesome. Well, this chapter is so good, I brought out the, the Akatsuki shirt, alright? Brought out the Akatsuki shirt, alright? This chapter was so good, I brought out the Itachi and the Konan. Akatsuki rings, alright? This chapter was so good, it deserves the Itachi- Actually, no, no, it doesn't deserve the Itachi headband, but- yeah, yeah, Alright, but it does deserve the Akatsuki rings and the Akatsuki shirt, alright? This chapter was freaking awesome, alright? So much awesome stuff happened in this chapter, plus we got a bunch of stuff where we can start to predict things that are gonna happen in the future, okay? It starts off with the Ninetales Chakra officially running out, apparently it hadn't run out last week. When Sakura is listening to Naruto's chest and Jakira said his heart isn't beating, alright? And that's when she learns from Gara that the, that Kurama was extracted from him, alright? And this is when we learn that the plan that Kurama told Gara was in fact to make him the, make Naruto the Jinchuriki of the other half of the Nine Tails Chakra. So I guess my concerns for that aren't uh aren't valid. The concerns I had last week about whether or not it would legitimately work because he still technically had a tail beast extracted from him and I wasn't sure whether or not the healing would actually affect him it just be, by becoming a Jinchuriki again, if it would negate the effect of having the Tail Beast extracted. Plus, I wasn't sure of the actual logic behind whether or not it was the, the Nine Tails itself. Like, um, the Nine Tails is a creature, but the way I had always assumed, the thing I had always assumed was that the Nine Tails was sealed inside of Naruto along with half of its chakra, and just the chakra itself was sealed inside of Minato. But I, there was also the theory that I had that the, the Tail Beasts are technically chakra beasts, so if you can cut their chakra in half, they themselves would technically be cut in half as well. Plus you have that uh, filler arc in Shippuden where, the ch where just the chakra was enough to make Sora, the Jinchuriki, and have him start a transformation. He went as far as the Four Tails, I think. So, I mean, it's a filler arc, but I doubt Kishi would let them do something that complete that just does not work in the series. Then again, the movies do that all this freaking time. But whatever. Especially, I just saw Blood Prison not too long ago because the dub debuted on Neon Alley. And you see some of the stuff there that makes no sense. Like, um, Naruto is in Sage mode, yet he still gets pierced through the stomach by, um, some type of wood spike thing or something like that. Some type of spike thing that just pierced right through him and the and the girl. Um, and Road to Ninja, some of the stuff there made no sense at all. How Naruto could summon Kurama like it was a summoning from summon Kurama from inside of him. Like that didn't that didn't make any sense. So maybe I shouldn't say that Kishi wouldn't let people do stuff that doesn't make sense, but still. You know, the film arc does agree with me in this case about the whole chakra beast and split the chakra and they actually become two different beasts thing. But, um, what, after, after Sakura ends up hearing all that stuff, uh, well, not all of it, but she ends up hearing what the plan is, what Gara's plan is, and then she decides that she has to do something until then, because there's still a few kilometers away from, um, Minato and Kakashi and Obito and Black Zetsu, all right? So, she cuts Naruto open, like, on the side, uh, all right? Oh, actually, no, it was this side, and, um, she... <laughs> grabs his heart and forces it to pump blood, alright, and, like, <laughs> what hook can I even say about that, like, it doesn't really, like, is, that's, there's no way that's possible, I mean, did, did, did she even, like, did she even wash her hands, like, <laughs> like, I, I'm pretty sure he could get an infection like that, when you just stick your hand inside someone's body, like that, oh, that sounded really weird, alright, like, I'm, like, I'm pretty sure that's not exactly safe, but what I, well, better than him dying right there, so whatever, but, so, you know, I really don't care that much, I just thought it was cool, I thought it was pretty good, because it's Sakura, so I just think, because Sakura, Sakura's awesome, right, people, people, you know, people can say whatever they want about Sakura, but Sakura's, oh, well, I won't say she's awesome, because of the whole Five Kage Summit thing, which technically wasn't all her fault, the first time it was her fault when she failed to kill Sasuke, but the second time she was gonna do it, that Kakashi was an idiot, and, like, pointing her out to Sasuke, she was, like, walking under the bridge, and she was creeping up on him, and he had no clue she was there, and Kakashi is just like, <gasps> like, like, he, like, telegraphed to Sasuke that someone was behind him, he looked around, he was like, oh, there she is, like, so that wasn't even her fault, that was Kakashi's fault right there, right, so, but still, Sakura's still bad, it, in, in part one, she was pretty bad, right, in part one, she was, except for when, except for in, in the forced to death where she cut her hair, and she took down Sasuke, that was epic, 
that was epic. I don't care what anyone says, that was epic, all right? But for the most, for, for the most part, she's pretty bad in part one. Part two, she's pretty good, though, all right? She's pretty good, all right? People say she's useless. That's clearly not the case, all right? I don't know any sane person who would actually say that doctors are useless, all right? And it's not like Sakura's a bad doctor, either. She's one of, if not the best doctor in the entire series, so she's clearly not useless, okay? So let's just stop with that stuff. Sakura's not useless. This is clear. It's obvious. There's no way the best doctor in the series could be considered useless. That just doesn't make sense, okay? All right? People will say, oh, but she doesn't fight. She rarely fights, all right? Who? She's not supposed to fight. She's a doctor, all right? If the do if all the doctors go to the front lines and they all get killed, if all the doctors die, then you're screwed. You're screwed, all right? So the doctors just buy, it's just common. It's just, that's just protocol. Like, that's just what you're supposed to do in war. So if you don't send all the doctors to the front lines where the people are shooting at them and grab, like, you keep them in the back where they're safe so that all the doctors don't die so that you have doctors and you aren't screwed, all right? She, she's not supposed to fight. She's supposed to stay in the back, have people come to her to get healed. She heals them, then they go back out, all right? That's how it's supposed to be. That's not her fault. That's just the way things are. That's just the way the system is set up. That's not her fault. Like, like said, when you're talking about people who are useless, you should be talking about freaking Eno. Who is a medical ninja, but was so bad they didn't even want her in the medical corps. All right, <laughs> they, they they threw her to the front lines because she couldn't do anything else. She, though she can't even fight either. She can't do anything without freaking Shikamaru or Choji or Hinata there. She does. She knows no Genjutsu. She knows no Taijutsu. All she can do is throw kunai and shuriken and be a telepath, like talk to people through her, through their minds. That's all she can do. She has her Yamanaka Jutsu, but she can't use those unless Shikamaru is holding the person there, or Choji is holding the person there, or Hinata is literally, literally pointing her in the right direction. All right. People say. Oh, she took control of the Ten Tails. Oh, like, oh, no, no, she didn't. She took control of Obito. And she could only keep that control over him for two seconds. Okay, and the only reason she was even able to hit him in the first place is because, like I said, Hinata was standing right there, literally <laughs> pointing her in the right direction. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. All right, when you're talking about useless characters in Naruto, you should be talking about Eno or Ten Ten. All right, but not, not, not freaking Sakura, who's the one of the freaking best doctors in the entire series. That just doesn't make sense. All right, Sakura is awesome. All right. Good, all right. She's good. She's good. All right. She's not awesome, but she's good. All right. She's good, and and she actually did something here, so that was good too. All right. That was good too. All right. And oh, oh, oh. Also, also, like I said, the title. She's winning the race for Naruto too. She's beating Hinata now. All right. After that whole holding hands thing that Hinata did after Neji died, people thought she was in the lead. Guess what? She's not. She's not. Okay. I love Hinata. All I I love Hinata just as much as the next guy. All right. Hinata and Sakura are both awesome. Well, not, Hinata's awesome. Sakura's good. Like I said, Sakura's good. Hinata's awesome, right? But but still, all right. Sakura's in the lead right now because Minato said to Naruto that she reminded him of Kushina, and now she's the first one to actually kiss Naruto. All right. And I don't care if it's CPR. And then then I don't care. All right. She kissed Naruto. Boom. Done. All right. Boom. All right. Though I will admit that one thing to look out for is the fact that she said um, in this chapter that she's going to save Naruto no matter the cost. So. She probably will not. I won't guarantee it, but she's definitely gonna at least come close to dying or like sacrifice herself for Naruto. It might be like a Land of Waves arc where Sasuke sacrificed himself for Naruto, but she ended up he ends he ended up surviving in the end. It might be something like that where she doesn't actually die, but she or like he nods in Pain's Invasion, but she will at least do something like that. I I'm pretty confident in that. All right. But um, other than that stuff, we see Toby Rama here. He's lying with freaking rods in his body. <laughs> Toby Rama is laying on the ground. He can't move, all right? And he talks about how he, he, he wants to try and move his soul with the forbidden jutsu. Uh, like, is he talking about Edo Tensei? Like, like because this is manga stream, and sometimes they say things that they, like, they, sometimes they exaggerate words and, like, they make them too too fancy. So I don't know if he's saying move his soul. Does he literally mean, mean like, does he mean like he doesn't have a body? So he's just trying to, so he only considers himself a soul when he's trying to move himself forward? Or is it like he's trying to use Edo Tensei to revive himself to another person? Like, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. And, and the weird thing about it is that one of the lines he says here is 
he says like, oh, forget the Shinshi no Jutsu, which is the body flicker technique. He can't, I can't even move my arms and legs right now, which makes it seem like the forbidden Jutsu he was talking about was the body flicker technique, but that's not a forbidden Jutsu, is it? Like, freaking everybody uses that. Every, you'll see freaking Ebisu and like other people in the leaves just poof, like disappearing like that. Like, everybody uses the body flicker technique. It shouldn't, it's not forbidden, it can't be. Alright, so I, 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 don't know, I don't really know what to think about that. Who cares? Alright, it's Toby, Toby Rama's not doing anything anytime soon. Alright, he, he's just not, alright? More importantly, Karin. Karin in this chapter, all right, growing up as an Uzumaki, all right. She, she, she's, she's coming into her own as an Uzumaki. She's, she's getting those uh, female Uzumaki abilities now. She got the freaking chains like, like Kushina, all right, all right. So I, and at first I was wondering like, wait, how come she's never done this before? Like when they fought Killer B, would have been pretty helpful there. But Orochimaru said, you know, it, it's finally come out. So I guess it's the power that awakened recently, if not at that particular moment. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, uh, so he gets who ends up uh, coming in to make the save for Karin because she ends up getting stabbed by wood by Spiral Zetsu and she ends up biting herself in order to heal herself. Um, and so he gets he comes in double barrel, double barrel, all right? Then Orochimaru bites him in the neck and gives him the curse seal. Though the curse seal does actually start to go away towards the end and he just, and uh, Spiral Zetsu is able to move again. But um, when when so he gets you hit Spiral Zetsu, the part of him got destroyed, and you can actually see, excuse me, that there is in fact someone inside. There is in fact someone inside Spiral Zetsu. So it's it, so it's it's gotta be Yamato. I mean, who else could it be? Who else could it be that's like missing right now? Like who we haven't seen in forever? Kabuto? Anko? <laughs> Konohamaru? Ibiki? Ebisu? Um, the Ichiraku ramen guy, like, who else could it be except for freaking Yamato? Seriously, um, I honestly, I'm trying to think of all the, like, random tuning and, oh, well, no, he's using word style, word style. That's, maybe freaking Donzo got Edo Tensei, I don't know, but it's gotta be freaking Yamato, I mean, it's, it's, it's gotta be freaking not Yamato. I don't see how it could be anyone else, but, um, yeah, it's probably him. Uh, Karin and so he gets you when Jugo and Orochimaru end up going towards where Sasuke is. I'm assuming because she tells him Sasuke is like I can't I can't sense him. All right, so that's that. Uh, the next scene is I guess during all this stuff going on, Madara found the time to revive the Ten Tails. That was really freaking quick. I guess I guess when Obito did it, he didn't have the full Eight Tails chakra and he didn't have as much Nine Tails chakra as he did, so it took longer. I guess that's probably what it was. Um, and because the Ten Tails is closer to being complete than it was before. The transformation is also different. Madara ends up absorbing the Ten Tails and becoming its intrigue and the transformation is completely different. Not completely different, but pretty different. The staff is different. He has a jacket now, like boots. You know, it, it's different because he has more, he had all of the Eight Tails chakra, not just the freaking tentacle, you know, and he had more Nine Tails chakra. So that's that. It's that people be, Madara's awesome, but just because you're awesome doesn't mean your transformation is going to be that, going to be different from Obito. That just doesn't make sense. All right, people need to see, like, use their brains here. It's not because Madara is awesome that his transformation is different. It's because of logic. That's why. <laughs> because he had more chakra in the tent. The tent tells his course was being complete. All right, but um, yeah, he ends up becoming the Jinchurik of the Ten Tails. And the chapter, and well, there's the stuff with Sakura again. And, uh, you know, but I already talked about that. Um, and then, so we see at the end of the chapter, someone ends up walking up to Sasuke, and, and the teaser text said something about, like, oh, he was this mysterious shadow creeping up behind Sasuke, and then it also ended up mentioning that Madara was going to go see Kakashi and Minato, so we know it can't be him. And, and uh, Madara has boots anyway, so it couldn't be him. The person doesn't have shoes on, right? So when I'm trying to, th I'm trying to think of people who don't have shoes. The only two that come to mind right now are Obito and Karin. Um, I don't think it can be Karin though, because granted, maybe maybe it is Karin, because Kishi was pretty uh, good at not showing Karin's feet in this chapter. We only saw her right foot, and that had shackles on it, so that makes me think it's not her. But we didn't see her left foot, maybe it's only her right foot that had the shackle on and not the left, because the foot we see here is the left foot. Um, and it could be Obito too, maybe, uh, no, because that Madara would have figured out that Black Setsu had moved Obito over there. So honestly, I don't know who it could be. 
who doesn't have shoes. I, I don't know. I mean, Karin and Obito are the only people I can think of right now. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe it's... I don't know, maybe freaking Shikaku and Inoichi came back. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's probably one of those two. Uh, but also one thing to look look for next week or the week after or whenever, you know, in the next few chapters is that, like I said, Madara is going to wear Kakashi Minato are. But so are Naruto, Gara, and Sakura. So they're about to collide with Madara right there. So they are in some freaking trouble. These guys are in trouble. All right. Things are not looking good for them right now. All right. So that's probably how Sakura is going to end up sacrificing herself for for uh, Naruto. The Naruto is going to once he does get the the rest of the nine tails of chakra, he's going to get mad, probably transform. Um, it, it'll be a different nine tails design because it's different chakra. It's the uh, uh, Yang chakra. What I don't I get them mixed up all the time. I forgot which which chakra he has. Oh, maybe Minato transformed once, right? Was it was the design different? I know, like, the symbols were, like, flipped. Like, with Naruto's, it was, like, a U, and with Minato's, it was an N or something like that. Like, I, I don't remember. But, um, I'm assuming Sakura is going to sacrifice herself in order to save Naruto. Naruto's going to get mad and start fighting against, um, uh, Madara. I don't but, the, but then what's going to happen? How can these guys beat Madara? They can't. They couldn't even beat freaking Obito. Freaking Kishimoto had to come down from the freaking skies and slide his own freaking series just to give just to give them ways to, to make up ways for them to beat Obito because they couldn't do it legitimately. So how big how are they gonna beat Madara? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Obito takes advantage of the fact that Black Setsu is keeping him alive and he does the Reaper Death Seal, but he doesn't he doesn't know it though. Well he's he's seen Minato use it before, right? Maybe he did. Who knows? All right. Maybe Minato used the Reaper Dust still again. Who knows? Who knows? Um. Maybe. I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. I don't see how they can beat Madara. I really don't. Kishi's gonna have to come down from the skies again and get, get make up a way for them to beat Madara because there's no way they can do it legitimately. It took the entire freaking Ninja Alliance, and Naruto, and Killer B. And four former Hokage, and all the five Kage, and Orochimaru, and Sasuke, and his crew, Taka, and uh, and some BS, and talk to Jutsu just to be Obito. It took all of that. There's no way they could freaking be Madara. There's no way. And they're all tired now too. There's no way. There's no way. They're running out of chakra. They don't have any. There's no way they could be Madara. I don't. I, I don't see it. I don't see it. Naruto's got to freaking use the Reaper Death Seal on him. Like, I, I don't know. All right, I'm, I'm just rambling now at this point. Like I said before, this chapter was freaking awesome. It was. It, it, it was just awesome. Uh, I, I've talked for, like, minutes about stuff that could be happening later on. I, by later on, I mean, like, in the next few weeks in terms of, like, Yamato, what Madara is going to do, what's going to happen to Sakura when the two of them collide, uh, who is walking up to Sasuke. Plus, the content of the chapter itself was just awesome. What happened with Sakura, what happened with Madara, what happened with Karin. You know, the chapter was just awesome overall. It was just awesome. So I'll give it a 10 out of 10. All right, that's, it's just it, it's just awesome, all right? Haters are going to hate. I'm sure they will, but this chapter was awesome. There's no denying that, all right? So that's it, you guys. <laughs> Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.